everybody. Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to start a new series and uh, this has been done before and there's many many names for it uh, but I'm going to call this a pocket size altered file folder and um, I just think it's kind of fun to do these little series. I was debating between this or carrying on with the embellishments but I'll probably just stick you know to break it up, I'll probably add a few embellishment um, and ephemera ideas in between. I don't know. We'll see how it all goes on. Um, but that's, I just think this would be a fun little project. So um, I haven't actually done this in a long time. Uh, so I don't have one in the style that we're going to do it in. But I do have one that I did many, many years ago that I'll share with you. Um, just... Be prepared that this is, this is, my style has evolved. <laughs> um, and this, this is it. Um, very shocking bright colors, but I think it's, I think it's still a very fun um, little, little idea. And uh, I, what inspired me at the time was I found these file folders from Tuesday morning and I fell in love with them because I love the colors. It's got the teals, the lines. I just think it's really, really fun. And I, I was like, oh, i got to have those and, and I'll find something to do with them as we do. And uh, of course I found this. So now our little file folder is going to be tweaked. We're going to do this a little bit different. So do bear that in mind as I show you. So what you open it up, and this is going to flip over. You've got some writing space here. This flips up. You've got lots of writing space there. These <clears throat> are just great little stocking stuffers. Um, you've got a pocket over here that you can add a journal card to. But this is where I think I'm going to tweak it with ours today. I'm going to probably... Either, if I can run this through the machine, I'm going to stitch that down and create two pockets here that you can have two tags, and I think that would be a lot of fun. And then you've got another flip here, and we're going to add lots of little pockets. So that ends up this nice little uh, journal that, um, ephemera holder, I would say. And bearing in mind, you could... Um, you could send this as, as some happy mail. I would not think internationally would be very cost effective because it's still quite hefty. Um, but within your country, that would be amazing happy mail if you tuck in some little things. So, okay, so there you go. That'll show you. Um, you're going to need a file folder. And what was I going to say? We're going to do this one in a shabby chic style, so <clears throat> let me just grab everything here. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open your file folder up. Let me just lift this slightly. Um, this, I would recommend a lightweight file folder. Uh, my son brought me these when he came over last year, I can't believe it's been a year ago, and bless his heart, he um, picked up the kind of heavyweight, good quality, <laughs> and I just didn't have the heart to tell him when he got here that, oh, Jared, actually, I wanted the old crappy ones. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I would just recommend that just because it's going to be easier to do this project and the... It's not going to be as bulky because, bearing in mind, we're going to go over this with some paper. Um, you're going to, you know, we're going to put some papers as well. And if you're interested, I'm going to be using the Rose and the Grandma's Attic papers from my porch prints for this. Um, I don't know which of these I'll use, but I've got them printed out ready to go. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is take, this is the top with the tab. And this is your, you know, kind of like the front. Um, fold that to just under the um, original score line of the file folder. And you're going to have to go over that a couple times if... 
if you've got a, um, a heavy weight like I've got. And so there it is open. We folded that, scored it. We're going to flip it up here. And now we're going to do that in reverse and just bring that up to the line of the file folder because we want the tab to show. So just go over that a couple times and get that burnished really, really well. Okay. So now we're going to open that back up and I've flipped that over because I'm, I'm going to be cutting away um, a section of this and we now are going to need to measure this. I'm going to make this about a six inch So taking off the top and the, the bottom, they have the tabs, you're not going to want to draw onto that. Just this panel here, you're going to want to mark in at the 6 inch mark. And then, Oh boy, this makes me nervous. I do not like drawing straight lines. So give me a second, guys, because I've got I got my own little way. I try to do this um, to line everything up because I'm awful about uh, drawing something straight or cutting things straight. I don't know. I I see things warped or something. So I hope to goodness I've got that straight. Oh boy. Yeah, that looks pretty straight, is it? Is it straight? Oh, hang on, guys, sorry. This is why everything takes me so, so long. <laughs> six, that's a six inches, so yeah, six, six. Just lightly. Okay. I hope that was all in camera. Jeez. What a... Okay. So now, the way I think it's best to do this, because as I said, I cannot cut straight, is take that over to the um, your paper cutter, and just I would just run it down to there. And even my Fisker's paper cutter is not, not brilliant on that. So now at this point you can just come in with your scissors and you're just going to cut out this section. And that's going to create... Now I would cut... You see that score line? Cut just a little bit to the left on this one and a little bit to the right on that one because if you don't this flap is not going to, um, oh boy, I hope I get this straight. Your flap's not going to gonna close properly. There. And if you, you know, snip it a little bit too far, don't worry, because we're going to come back and cover that with some paper. And you can kind of hide some little boo-boos. Okay. All right, save that because you can use that for like a journaling card. So, okay. So let me show you now. Well, I'll carry on with this one.
So this is going to be your front. That'll be the back. Now you're just going to come in and fold this back over, and that's why you wanted a little bit of that cut inside because um, if if you cut it straight on that line, this wouldn't fold very easily. You guys know what I mean. Gosh, I can't uh, can't explain it as well as I want to, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, and then the same thing here. We're just going to bring that in, line it up as best you can there. Yep, that so so there we go. So so this is how it's gonna look and, and they'll They'll flip open different ways depending on where your tab is. Okay, so, so do be mindful of that. You might end up with it completely reversed because your tab was on the, um, this one's on the right, so the left. Um, but you can use any file folder, just, so just, you know, don't panic over that. So that's going to flip open. This is the part, if you want, like the original one, you're going to run a bead of glue down here and here. And that's going to form a pocket opening here. Okay? Or the other side if you wanted to. I don't know why. It just seems like it would be natural on this side. We're going to do it different today. We are going to glue all of this. And then I'm going to come back and cut that once it's glued. I want to cut just a, maybe an eighth of an inch off of that to open that up. And then after I've got my papers, my thinking is... I'm going to put this through the machine and try to do an outline for two pockets, okay? Then you've got this flap, and here is where we're going to start adding multiple uh, pockets and things. Um, as long as we keep a nice area for uh, some journaling here and there, or if you wanted to add a nice size photo, because bearing in mind, this is six... By four and a half, you could add a six, a four by six photo. Wouldn't this be awesome at Christmas to give as little stocking stuffers and people could just do a little journaling for their Christmas. They could add some photos and maybe give it to Grandma or Grandpa. I think that'd be so cute. Okay, so I'll set that to the side, and this is one I've, I've already glued. Um, and as you can see, this one, what, what I'm talking about, the tab being on the left, so now this one is going to be opposite, but I've already glued this together, guys, and I've snipped off, glue the three, three sides, and then I've snipped off the top. I'm going to get our papers on it, and then, fingers crossed, I can run this through the machine. I've never tried this before, and there again, this is why I would have preferred a lightweight file folder. But we're going to make do with it, and I hope I don't snap that. I think it'll be fine. It just, you got to be careful, you'll bust a, um, a needle, but Lord knows I've got loads of needles in stock. So, all righty. So there's what I'm going to be working on. <clears throat> and let's see, let's get some papers on, uh, and I'll do one of these after I've finished. Let's see, where are we at? We've got 15 minutes. All right, guys, let me grab some stuff, and let's just crack on here. You can see, look at this is what I do. I do all my doodling. I'm sitting there thinking... And if you're wondering, you're like, well, what, what, is, what does Gina do? Yeah, I sit here and I doodle, and I don't know. This is how I think, so you're going to have to look at that messy sheet of paper. <laughs> I'll turn it over a little bit, though. Okay, let me get my jacket off. It's getting a little bit warm in here. Actually, I'm going to pause it, guys, because I've got to get another job printing for the ephemera for this. So give me two seconds. Okay, guys. Time for a sip of coffee. 
And I better get a lozenge in because I can tell my voice is starting to get croaky. Hope it wants to listen to that. Okay, as I said, we are working with the My Porch Prints. I think this was the Shabby Rose Papers and Grandma's Attic Papers, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I believe that's the correct uh, term, but uh, you know, Stephanie's got some amazing papers, so anything that you want to do this in. I was debating to use the Botanical because I love that kit, but this one lent itself to this more because I've got a lot of tags and bits of ephemera that will be easy to just add to this um, versus the Botanical kit is more papers, not too much uh, ephemera with that one. All right, so what we're going to do, and um, as I said, I've not really planned this out. Sorry, that was the wrong one. I've already got this one glued. I'm gonna carry on with this one. So I think for the front paper, this might be kind of pretty. And then I could add, I don't know how I'm going to do the front yet. Usually, my covers, I generally have a vision in my mind of how my cover is going to be, but I don't today. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> so, we're just going to go ahead and um, get this paper on here. And I think the easiest way to do this is just going to be to glue that and then cut around it. Let me just try to get. So that is six by, I'm going to go six by four and a quarter. So I'm sorry, this is going to be a little bit monotonous watching me do this. And I may not do all of it, guys, because... It is going to be quite tedious because there's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bits. So I'm probably going to just start with this front one and then stop the camera and then come back, you know, when I've got it all ready because otherwise I think you're going to get really bored. I hope I got that measurement right. Now, if you want to leave a border, you can, but I don't think I really want to, if I can avoid it. It looks like a little bit of it is going to show. I should have probably cut that slightly bigger, but um, I don't really want a border on this one. Again, personal preference. Here's some of the little ephemera. I've sized this down, and I might go back and print this as the regular size, because that's come out pretty small. But I thought those would be cute as little pockets and journal cards. Okay. Just want to get this paper on, and then we can, like I said, I'll probably just come back once I've got all of it covered, and you can see how how it's looking then. And we'll ink around the edges once everything gets glued on. I'm trying to use my glue sticks more. I've gotten such a habit of using that glitter glue, um, but gosh, it's expensive, so I must, must, must start using the glue sticks more. Um, another little tip I would say, when you're doing a project like this, um, just, you know, it's all, it's up to you, obviously, but I always print my journal pages on 120 GSM, unless I'm doing, like, that's for my journal pages. 
If I'm just going to add it to something that's heavy like this, I just use the cheap stuff. It saves, you know, it, it will save you some money. Um, just another little tip. Maybe you haven't considered that because um, the 120 is <clears throat> really nice for the the journal pages, definitely. And, you know, you will lose some quality in the print, but for a project like this, I think the savings, it's worth it. And this is just, you know, inexpensive paper that you can pick up at the grocery store or wherever. Um, let me show you guys if I can find it another little this is my little chunky okay this is another little tip when you're cutting around you can see, I think you can see on the camera, when you're snipping around, you can't always get to those edges. Take a file and you can, if you just don't file up because, you know, you've glued that. If you will file down away from your paper, you can get those little edges exact and it will take that paper straight off and particularly if you're working on chipboard um, so don't all you know don't stress out about getting it cut exact sometimes I'll just put it over it and um, not on this but if it's chipboard I'll just do that and that knocks the paper straight off now you can see can you see how it's starting to bend there Sorry about that sound. It's probably like nails on a chalkboard to somebody. But you see how that's just smoothed out? So don't, you know, it's just another little tip. You've probably seen that before, but some people may not have. Um, I know not everybody's been doing this, so anything that can save you time, I try to point out when, when I can. Okay, guys, now you can start to see how that's coming together. I'm going to shut the camera off. Um, just to keep you from having to listen to my croaky voice. And I'll be honest, I don't think my voice would hold out to do all of the sides. <laughs> it's probably going to take me about an hour to do that. So I'll be back once I've done it and you can see where we're at. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have finally got all these pages covered. So I just thought I'd give you a, a look at, um, at how it's come. I've also went ahead and distressed the edges. So you can see, so that's your first flip down. I love these papers. And then that's going to flip over. And then here we've got this ready. <clears throat> In part two, I will have stitched. I'm just going to run a stitch here and then straight down the middle so that we'll have two pockets there to add a couple of tags to. Just trying to see if I've got. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see what I've got, guys. <laughs> okay. Because we glued that, sometimes you got to go back in with a a bone folder and just kind of open that pocket up a little bit. Let me see, because I want to make sure that if I run that, see, isn't that going to be sweet? And I'll probably cut that down. Let me just see if I cut that down quickly. Because I wouldn't want it to stick up that much. I still want to be able to see that tab so I'd probably just cut that down slightly and then we'll have the lace oh that's going to be pretty so that's that's what I'll do on that and then like I said I'm going to make two so there's going to be two of those but the nice thing about that is we'll still be able to see the tab behind 
<coughs> that glue is seeped up just a little bit. So see, I like that because I can do that and it, it's still you're going to still see the tab, so it's starting to form some really nice layers now. Okay, so that's what, how that pocket's going to be. Like I said, in part two, I will have done that. And then this is the papers I've chosen here. And then if that's closed back, that's the back. And depending on how thick this goes, I've got some ideas on the closure. We'll see how it goes before I say what, what. But I'm right now I'm thinking probably a really pretty belly band would be pretty that could come up from the bottom because you won't want to be fiddling with the top. So it would just slide up here and that would hold that in place. But it, there again, I may change that. You know, sometimes I might just end up with a piece of uh, sorry silk. But I think a belly band is the way we're going to go with this. But so... I guess, the, you know, at this point, and I'll have to give some thought to this, and this is down to a personal preference. If you know what you're going to use this for, you might want to leave a couple of these blank. Probably not that one, but like this one, for example, you might want to leave that blank to add a photo. For the purposes of this, um, I'm probably going to add some belly bands and several little tucks and things because this, in my mind, I'm going to fill this with some ephemera. And I'll give you three guesses as to what I'm going to be doing with this when it's all over. So, yeah, I think that's how I'm going to do it. But um, how awesome just to have some little um, photo frame taps there so that somebody could just slide in. I think i got some of those handy. Let me get my little junkie box here. Oh, actually, it's in a different one. Let me just see real quick. I don't remember where. I bought the corner. Yeah, here they are. This is not the right color, but... Oh, actually, I've got some white ones. I didn't even know that. Ha! Huh, there you go. So, see, you could add, you could add some of those. Um, gosh, I'm having a moment here. <laughs> oh, I can't for my how how come I can't think of how that would be? Ah, like that, yeah. So you could place those if you measured that out. How cute would that be to give to somebody, and then that way they could just add their photo straight straight in there. Um, yeah, I, I'm having another moment. <laughs> um, so that's, you know, just start thinking about that. Um, as I said, for me, uh, we're going to add, we're going to fill this out quite, quite a lot with little pockets and things. And uh, I'm even thinking... And it depends on how bulky. It would be kind of cute if I could work in just a dinky. Um, journal. Like a little tiny one. But I don't know. It might make it just too thick. But we'll see. Anyways guys. I hope you've enjoyed part one. I hope that's inspired you to go out. And find yourself some uh, file folders. And, um, and make this along with me. Um, so anyways, guys, that's it. I will be back with part two. I don't know if, if I'll put uh, part two up this week or if it'll be the following week. It just depends on what I run across. and Because if I get really excited about an embellishment idea or something, I might put that in between the parts. But... Um... Mm -hmm.